Hey everyone, my name is Lance, and I'm going to show you how to make this simple hydraulic powered machine. Actually, I'm just gonna show you how to make the hinge and then discuss some ways that you can transform it into whatever kind of machine you want, which is really the most fun part about this project. Okay, let's get started. Begin with a square frame, then glue on a wooden cube. This isn't totally necessary, but it does make this upright section a lot more stable. When building the upright section, make sure the sticks go on the front and back of the cube. At the top, glue on one of these cubes with a hole in it. Finish this part by adding on two more sticks for extra strength. Use one regular cube and one cube with a hole for the arm. And now attach the two pieces with a cable tie. Make sure it's not too loose or too tight. It should have a pretty wide range of motion, but also not wobble from side to side too much. Now to create the hydraulic system. The first step is to fill a syringe with water. Then connect an 18 inch long piece of vinyl tubing onto the nozzle. Then push water through it to remove all the air. With the tubing in the water, fill the syringe back up to 10 milliliters and then connect another empty syringe. Try it out and make sure it's working. For this next step, you can glue on a wooden cube with a hole but I've discovered I prefer these syringe adapters that I found online. These don't break off and it helps the hydraulic machine work more reliably. To attach the two, start by cable tying the adapter to the arm. Make sure the syringe is empty and the arm is pointing down. Then just tape the syringe on in at least two places. So that's the most basic design, but this is where it gets really fun. Take on the challenge of figuring out how to make it more stable or transform it into a crane vehicle or my personal favorite, this hydraulic powered cork shooter. If you're enjoying this video so far, please pledge on Patreon, where you can get access to lesson plans and project sheets, which are really useful for teaching this kind of stuff to kids, or if you just wanna show your support. So there's not a ton to say about how this project works, except for the hydraulic mechanism, which is actually really interesting. So when water is pressed out of one syringe, it goes into the other and makes the piston extend. But why does it have to be water? Why can't we just fill these up with air? Well, you could, except that air isn't as effective at transferring the force that's put into this syringe out into that syringe. So here's a demonstration. Here are two connected syringes and one of them is full of air. It works similarly to the hydraulics, except if I prevent this one from extending, I can compress all the air down to nothing. This means that if this syringe was doing work and there was some resistance against it, the input force would be wasted just compressing that air. By contrast, here's a hydraulic system. If I force this one to stay in place, I cannot compress the control syringe. And here's why. Water is very, very hard to compress. Even if you put a water balloon at the bottom of the ocean, that pressure will not reduce its volume significantly more than if it was just sitting on this table. By contrast, air is relatively easy to compress. So in essence, any force that I put into this syringe is very effectively outputted in the other syringe, which means all the force from your hand is transmitted through the hydraulics, making it pretty strong. Okay, that's all for now. And again, please pledge on Patreon to show your support for these kinds of videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.